So the reason why a contractor is going to move from uh, maybe more of a basic solution, which I would consider a QuickBooks or a Peachtree Sage 50, to a solution like ours, one is they want more detailed job costing. And what I mean by that is being able to break down by cost code the tasks of that specific job. And then with that, with that detail, again, now as we pay bills, or payroll, you know, we enter payroll, we can cost it to those different cost codes. We know exactly are we staying on budget or if we're falling off. Same with accounts payable as we pay bills, we're able to cost them to the various cost codes so we can make sure that we're not overpaying bills. Uh, if a bill comes in and is higher, a lot of times that might be a change order. So it's still an accurate invoice, it's just with the paperwork hasn't caught up. But all those processes help make sure nothing slips through the cracks and making sure that you know we don't throw away money that we could potentially be making. On top of that then you get into all the tracking of your subcontractors, lien waivers, uh, insurances, all those things that take other people you know additional time to do outside of their system and spreadsheets we're going to be able to do that automatically in the system. So when they go to cut checks, all they have to do is push a button and say, generate lien waivers, where a lot of people in the QuickBooks uh, saves 50 world, they're doing that manually. So typically what a lot of people do in a, in a QuickBooks solution is they're going to expand their general ledger and they kind of make it do job cost. But again, it, it's, it's really not designed the way that we do it. So we have a separate module, it's a separate bucket that all your costs are going to hit. So you have your own general ledger, accounts payable, payroll, and then job costs. That's, that's the key. And so as we enter information in the job cost, again, we're able to decipher it a lot better than, than a QuickBooks. Again, with our reporting tools, we're allowing you to be able to sort by types of jobs, you know, a certain project, project manager, by cost code. So just a range of things that we can do for a a contractor to be able to analyze, slice and dice that job and know where they're at at any time. In a, in a QuickBooks scenario, typically you may enter your bills to pay them through there, but then they will re-enter those invoices into a spreadsheet. So they're really job costing, they're detailed job costs in an Excel spreadsheet. So you can see where there's a lot of potential for error you know, double entry uh, over, you know, because when you enter it in the QuickBooks, you know, you enter the invoice, there is no comparison, there is no budget that you're comparing to. So very easy to enter two invoices twice. You know, some contractors say the statements start looking like invoices and so they turn around and they enter it because they're in a rush and they go and they pay an invoice and not realizing that they already paid it. So, I mean, there is no checks and balances where a solution like ours, we're gonna alert them right when they enter that invoice. It's a duplicate invoice, we'll give them a flag. Um, if it's over a budget, so we can set a budget increments on, on how far, you know, you could have a tolerance of maybe $100. So we can flag them if it goes over that. If their insurance is expired, we're gonna give them alert, so we make sure we don't cut the check until we get those current insurances. Um, so, you know, and then we have the different tools to track all the lien waivers. So, great, we submitted the lien waiver to them. Did we get it back? So, again, all those, all those pieces that tend to get overlooked or managed in some other product, you know, we're going to be able to do seamlessly in one solution.